What's up guys, welcome back to Gamers Be Like. Today I will be showing you how to beat Minute on the second run uh, mode, which you unlock after you beat the game once. Um, the differences here are you only get one heart and you can't upgrade it at all. Even if you pick up a heart you will not increase your health. Uh, you only get 40 seconds per life instead of a minute, breaking the whole title of the game, but whatever. And they've moved various things around to make it a lot harder. But overall it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into this. So yeah, to start with you're going to want to, as as per the main game, swords in the same spot. Just going to grab it. Um, I will say I have edited out a lot of deaths, like right here. I just, just respawn at the house. Um, I did not do this in like flawlessly at all. I edited out all the all the uh, runs where I don't manage to do what I was doing. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the crabs have moved, but you still need to kill all five of them to be able to get the coffee. So uh, kill those ones. Sneaky one under the pot right there. Last one up here where there was three of them. Now there's only one. So as you can see, like my timer's about to run out. Like, managed to get the coffee with one second left. Like stuff is a lot tighter on this mode, but once you get the path down, it's not too bad. Um, you pretty much have to get the speed boots as well to be able to complete it, or the fast shoes, I think they call them. Um, and to be able to get it in this mode, you need nine coins instead of seven. Um, I collect 11 of them just to show you guys a couple more in case one or two of them are giving you a little, any trouble so you, you could skip two and still be able to beat this mode. So I mean you do a lot less in each life given you've only got 40 seconds and you have to know where you're going. Um, so I recommend maybe like watching my life, pause it and then do it yourself and then come back. So this is the same flashlight, it's still at the top of the lighthouse. So um, this is going to be the first coin that I collect, it's down here in the basement. Um, there's a couple coins down here but you need the flippers to get the other one so I'm just going to grab the first one for now. There's not enough time to grab them both at the same time later on anyway, so I'll just grab one now and I'll come back later and get the other one. And you got to kill all the bats, but given that your sword is rubbish, you are not going to have much time left to grab this. So we're going to head into Snake Cave and we're going to grab this coins actually in the same spot as it was in the normal mode this is you, the coins are mostly in the same spots um there's not one in your starter pot for example uh that achievement is completely irrelevant xbox was being pretty broken when i was recording these and that is my achievement for beating the game with 100% um pop in extremely late so ignore that i'm going to go grab the watering can because we still need that is in the same spot. And now we're going to make our way over to the caravan and start doing the desert section of the game. Watch out for the ball. Like I said, you can still kill him and he will still drop a heart, but it will not give you uh, any increase in your life. You have to do the game without getting hit, basically. Well, each life without getting hit. Okay, so this part um, is the guy who's lost in the desert. Uh, he is much further south than he was in normal mode. Uh, watch out for these cacti, they will kill you if you touch them. And obviously the scorpion as well too. You just need to head south as fast as you can. Watch out for anything that's going to try to kill you. 
and he, you will find him eventually. He is down here, I promise. I even managed to find the oasis before I found him. There he is. Water him. Okay, now we'll go ahead and do the oasis. Um, like I said in the other video, I am not 100% sure how to get it to spawn, whether it's time in the desert or screen transition, so I kind of just go back and forth like this. Be careful not to accidentally transition when you've hit the oasis, otherwise you'll have to start again. Um, another difference here, there is two ghosts instead of one. Um, once you kill one of them, however, the uh, the sludge in the middle, or the water, or whatever, will disappear. Making it much easier to get the second one. And they drop the sword thrower as they did previously. Again, you gotta be quick. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get the gardening glove now. We rescued the guy so we can go and talk to him and get our gardening glove. Which once again has a slight difference. It's not too big of a deal, but it's it's there to make it take longer. You can't just go in and pick it up, you gotta get around all these signs that telling you how bad factories are. So it's about time now where we want to head over to the um, hotel area. So we'll take this shortcut back now that we can chop down the trees. I was checking how many coins I had, I think. Um, so yeah, little deaths like that I just left in, because it's a few seconds of me screwing up. Just to show you that I am not, <laughs> I did not do this as perfectly as it perhaps looks. So we're going to go up here, we're going to get the press pass so we can get in the factory later. Um, I, I grabbed this beech wood here, which you need to get the uh, boat for the island, or the boat wood I mean. Um, I don't do it in this run, so you can completely ignore that if you want. It's completely unnecessary. So, you know, if you're running on time, just run up there and grab the press pass. You do not need that boat wood at all. So, watch out for the crab. Um, with it being 40 seconds, I don't stick around to kill these bandits up here. Just try your best to run around them. And at the top of the screen here, there is a gap. You do not have to chop down the trees. And this guy, if you've got less than 10 seconds left, you can grab that hotel guest real quick. Just make sure you make it to the hotel safe room so that when you die, you can be there at the hotel and not have to run all the way back. This is an easy coin to grab. Sneak into the back of the hotel. Alright, so again, a slight difference up here. There's more boxes to move, but overall not too bad. Rescue him. So this bandit fight might cause you some problems just because you can't get hit at all and your sword is pretty rubbish, but um, so it might take you a few tries, but once you do you can rescue him as per normal. Uh, so a slight difference with this credit card guest also, he will have bandits around him, so you want to clear those out first. But his credit card is still in the same spot, so once you've cleared them out, taken out the bushes, you can just push him on over to his to his wallet and we'll go ahead and get the final guest from up here, the one who hides in the trees, which again has a slight difference in that there's more trees for him to hide behind. I kill these bandits along the way just so that I'm working towards the coin that they drop, because they still drop it in this mode. But you don't have to do that right now if you don't want. You can just run past them and get up here to the trees. So 
So, yeah, the coin with the bandage, you have to kill them, I think it's three times, it might be one more with this mode, I'm not sure, but you, you have to basically keep killing them until they drop the coin. So I went in ahead and just did it on the way there, just so that I had um, one done. Uh, yeah, in these mines, watch out for these scorpions, they're everywhere. There's a few in this room, there's like two on the right, I think, as well. Two in this room. You just need to be... That one almost gets me. Just need to be careful. Um, this hit the second switch here. I go, I make a mistake and hit the first one, but you can just hit the second switch right away and you won't have to worry about those archers in the water. Or the scuba divers or whatever they are. Um, uh, so you have all the guests now. You can go ahead and get the flippers. And then, um, we're basically at the point now where we just want to mop up uh, some coins, because to, to, um, to get to the final boss you need the speed boots or the fast shoes to be able to get, reach the um, that left side uh, conveyor belt section with the sword parts on them, not the hilts, the sword parts, the blades. Um, to be able to do it in time you need the boots, so... I'm doing the bandits one here. Like I said, I'm gonna collect 11 coins. You only need nine, so feel free to skip any ones that might be causing you any problems. Like this one might be one to skip, depending on how much trouble you have fighting these bandits. But there's the coin. I'm gonna head on into the factory now and into the waiting room. Okay, so this coin you have to wait in the room um, until the tree blows up on the left, but I don't see it blow up here. You'll see, I'm not, this might be another one to skip, but I'm um, on hard mode. Like I'm starting to run out of time and I just go stand by the tree and it, and it gives me the coin. So I think I just happened to get really lucky with the timing, but uh, so if you can get in here quick enough, you can still get that coin. Like I just happen to be standing on it as it spawns, it seems, because look, the tree's not there when it comes back, so it did blow up. So that one's pretty tight on time, but obviously doable. So we are gonna now head on over to the back of the truck for another easy coin. That gives us six, so we need three more. Or you will need three more. I'm gonna get five more, but. Oh, this is the same. Just run in here and smack that generator once to break this laser. And then you can um, open up the same drill passage from the normal mode. Scoop this coin on the way past for a number seven. And hopefully you have enough time to reach the caravan. If not, just run back from the hotel. The passageway will still be open so you won't have to mess around with that. Which give you a couple more seconds to reach it. Okay, now I'm gonna do one of the secret temple uh, coins, the one on the east. This again is different from normal. Normal you had to do it without getting hit, uh, but obviously you can't get hit anyway in this mode. So what they've done is they've made it so you have to put out all of the fires. So just make sure you're dodging the bats and put out all of the fires. I'm not sure if the three in the other screen count, but you might as well just go ahead and put them out anyway, just to be safe. So we're gonna head on back to the starting house. We've got flippers so we can just go straight across the river there. Respawn for the full 40 seconds. We're gonna grab the coin 
in the basement that I mentioned earlier in the video um, that I couldn't get because I didn't have the flippers. So you need to come in here and kill all the bats again. But once you go through the gate, instead of going up the stairs, uh, go through um, the river on the left. Just follow it down, you'll find a chest. Again, it's pretty tight on time, so make sure you're killing those bats as fast as you can. But you shouldn't have too much issue getting it. So now uh, another easy coin in the waterfall. That's coin number ten. That one's really easy. Just go in there and there's not there's no scorpions, there's nothing in there to try and kill you. And then the last coin I'm gonna grab is the one in the quicksand next to the sign maker. So make sure you enter on this screen so that you're closer to the chest and just sit in the quicksand. Once you're down there, watch out for the scorpions. There are <coughs> sorry, I think there's five of them in there. Possibly more. Just get in there, get your coin, and then get out via a death. There's no way out of that quicksand other than to die, by the way, so you can't... Um, once you're in there, you just gotta die once you've got the coin. So... Now that we have enough coins, you'll, I mean, you can get to this part earlier if you want. Um, pick up the shoes, you only need 9 coins for the shoes, again. But once you've got these, you can start getting ready to fight the final boss. I'm going to go ahead and do the left side first, it is the trickier side. And the right side you can combine in one run with finishing it and uh, getting down to the bottom to put your sword in the machine. And then you gotta put, watch out for the scorpion by these two boxes. And then other than him, it's the same deal, you just gotta get the three boxes in to the machine. Um, time is a lot tighter as you can see, but as long as you can get this box or any of the boxes onto the belt, it doesn't matter if you die as you can see, it still breaks it even after death. Um, so, um, difference on the right side is there is a lot more switches to hit. I think there's twice as many. But, it's the same deal, just make sure you're hitting them all as you go past as fast as you can. Pretty easy. And then, use the conveyor belt to get down to the mechanism as fast as you can. Put the sword in, kill yourself, come back with the water again. So this is the uh, final run up to the boss now. Um, the boss is significantly harder than the normal mode, mainly because the checkpoints are only done by phase. You have to do each phase in one go, one 40 second run without getting hit. Which makes the last phase in particular quite um, nerve wracking if you're not good at dodging the swords that are flying around. So yeah, every phase make sure you kill yourself just so that you can have your full 40 seconds. Uh, this first phase is pretty much the same. In fact, I think all the phases are the same, except maybe the last one. I think you might um, like rotate the swords and, and stuff more often on the last phase. So again, kill yourself before this phase. And then make sure you're on point getting to these, because you do not have a lot of time to get them all. So I left that death in because this is the one phase I'm not 100% sure if you have to do them all in, but it seems like you do. I was having a hard time counting how many swords were on the screen and how many um, how many I killed, etc. With it being so dark, so I just left that one in. However, I'm pretty sure you do have to do them all in one run, because phase one and phase three you have to do in one go, so 
it would make sense that the second one you do as well. So this part is the same deal as normal, except you can't get hit, which makes it uh, a lot more of a tense affair. Same deal, just keep dodging the swords until he spins. Once he's done spinning, get in there and hit one. They still destroy in pairs, thankfully you don't have to destroy eight. And you just dodge around them, hit him, and then hit him. Once you've done that, you're pretty much in the clear. Um, you can still die, but there is a checkpoint after this, so you don't need to worry too much about um, too much about it. But the way you can die here is if you touch the sword walls, much like in the final boss room. So like that stuff on the left would kill you. But all you need to do is go here and flush the sword. So as I said at the beginning of the video, or towards the beginning of the video, my achievements were pretty messed up for this. You can they weren't popping when they were supposed to and as you can see I did not get the achievement for beating second run here um, so I will show you guys how to get back to the boss from a continue and defeat him just in case you end up having to do the same hopefully you don't and it's, but um, I figured I'd leave it in here just for uh, just in case you guys do run into a similar problem um, but yeah, once you beat it, you should unlock right on that stat screen where it tells you how many runs and your time and your percentage. You should unlock your achievement or trophy for uh, called another minute for a beating second run. <clears throat> but uh, like I said, unfortunately, it did not pop for me. So I will go ahead and quickly show you guys how to get back to the boss. So you, you hit continue, hop over the river. Through the quicksand up here. If if you want to be extra safe, you can hit the caravan to the screen on the right of where I am now. But there's there's enough time to get to the boss from the start house, as you can see. Plenty of time. Just go up here, smack it three times, and you're at the boss again. Um, I'm gonna leave the footage in unedited of this boss, just in case you want to see me beat him again for whatever reason. Um, the achievement will pop at the end, you'll see that unlock on that same screen that I mentioned. Uh, but I will leave the commentary here. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, I hope this helped you out. Um, let me know what you thought of the game in the comments. And uh, I'll see you guys in another video.